new at 10 tonight, a warning about some disease-carrying mosquitoes on the move in parts of our state. We're talking about the Asian tiger mosquito. It's known to carry diseases like West Nile, Zika, and others. And until recently, they were only found in southern states. Scientists say, though, they saw record numbers last year in southwestern Connecticut. And this year, the conditions are ripe for even more. News 8's Jackie Slater live tonight in News 8 Control with a look now at those numbers. Jackie? And the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station will officially begin trapping and testing mosquitoes next week. But the mosquitoes are already out and biting. And with this particular mosquito being found in new towns each year, now is as good as time as any to start loading up on the bug spray. April showers brought May flowers, and May showers are bringing the mosquitoes. Standing water and mild temperatures making the climate just right for breeding. Females are emerging and biting us and will continue to do so until the first hard frost, typically in October. Dr. Philip Armstrong is with the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station and heads up their mosquito testing division. This year they're paying close attention to these lovely looking biters, the Asian tiger mosquito. This is an invasive species that came over from East Asia in the 1980s and is spreading northward into Connecticut and the numbers of that species are increasing. The Asian tiger first appeared in the state in 2006. That year there was just one of them. In 2015 they caught two 220. But last year, that number jumped to more than 900. We're going to be doing enhanced surveillance for this species using this, this other trap that is specifically designed to collect this mosquito species. So this trap here is what they use to attract the Asian tiger mosquitoes. Now what they do is they put a cylinder in there that has what they call the human scent lure on it. Now you can't smell through the TV, but trust me, I'm going to tell you, it smells a lot like dirty socks. Here in Connecticut, the Asian tigers can carry West Nile virus. In other parts of the world, they've been known to carry Zika and Dengue. Last year, despite an increase in mosquitoes in the state, there was only one reported case of human West Nile. The concern is with a growing population, that number will go back up. There are a number of simple measures you can take to protect yourself. Uh, one is just to simply cover up. Wear long sleeve pants and shirts when possible. Uh, consider applying a repellent. When outdoors, um, and um, certainly um, you want to uh, eliminate any sources of standing water around the home. And Armstrong stresses your chances of becoming infected with one of these diseases is slim. Last year they tested 174,000 mosquitoes here in the state. Only 122 of them tested positive for West Nile. Reporting live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8.